How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome to another Terraria 1.3.4 update video. In this episode we're going to be looking at how to spawn the brand new event in Terraria, The Old One's Army. We'll look at how to get it started, what it's like in action, and how you can power yourself up for it. So in the last episode, and I'll link our playlist in the description if you'd like to check the other updates, we looked at getting an Elder Crystal stand and an Elder Crystal. Now you need both of these to start the invasion. And you might also want to spend your first five Defender Medals on buying your first Sentry Summon. So have a look at the stats, see what you like the look of. As you get more Defender Medals, you can buy more of them, of course. So I'm going to get a Flame Burst Rod to start with. And then what we want to do is find a nice open area to summon this invasion in. So we're going to make our way out here. And then we need to put our Elder Crystal stand down. And then when you right-click an Elder Crystal on the stand, it will actually summon the event. Now you get some mana to start with, this special event mana, and you use that to summon your Sentry Summon Towers, and you get more as you kill enemies during the event. Now when you start the event, it spawns portals on each side, and you can see goblins are coming out. It's very similar to Pumpkin Moon and Frost Moon, where as the waves continue, stronger and stronger enemies make their way out. So I'm going to throw my buffs on. I'm in an expert world, so these enemies are going to be pretty tough, but that's okay. We're up for the challenge, guys. So you can see I'm getting more Ethereum mana for my Flame Burst Rod as the event continues. Now it'll start off relatively easy and then it'll probably gain a bit of speed as we're going. So let's just finish off these few enemies here. There we go, get rid of all them, beautiful. Now I've got some more Ethereum mana. Oh no, they're attacking the crystal, get away from it! So the crystal has 10,000 hit points, I don't know if it has less in normal mode. It regenerates slowly during the invasion. So you want to be trying to get as many summon towers out as you can. And then after a short countdown, which is exactly the same in Dungeon Defenders, you get a bit of time in between waves to upgrade your defenses, another wave will start. And then as like with Pumpkin Moon and Frost Moon, the waves get more difficult as the invasion continues. So we've got some flying enemies spawning here called Lightning Bugs, um, and they look pretty nasty, I'll let one hit me. Okay, it looks like, no, there are no debuffs coming out of them, but they are fairly strong. I'm hitting these things with a last prism, and they are taking a lot of damage. We've also got some javelin throwers, and a few other enemies as well, and they are really swarming this crystal, oh my goodness. Okay, so I can summon another flame burst rod, that's beautiful, and we've got the wave complete. Now, I don't quite know, but even when it says wave complete, there might still be enemies, so don't let your guard down. There's one of those explosive kobolds as well, so we're going to watch out for them because they blow up the crystal as well. So I've got 19 Ethereum mana. Let's get another Flame Burst Rod down. They seem to cost 10. And you can see we've got a short timer left on the invasion. Now, because this in, uh, update has just come out, guys, I'm not quite sure what stage of the game you would fight this in. But judging how much damage I am taking from this, these enemies and how much they're dealing to the crystal, it could be a later game invasion at this stage. So we'll keep fighting a few more, we'll see what's going on. There's a few new enemies coming out as well. So I'm not quite sure how many waves there are, there could be 10 or 15 like the normal ones. You can see they're dive bombing the crystal this time. So this is going to get pretty tough. This would probably be loads of fun in multiplayer as well, guys, because you could all be setting up different defenses around the crystal and focusing on different sides at the same time. Okay, guys, it looks like the ogre boss has spawned, or the cyclops. No, it is an ogre. It's got 26,000 hit points, and it is doing that goo attack that we saw in the spoiler. Now, I got a trophy from another enemy just before. Um, it was called a Dark Mage Trophy, which is amazing. And it looks like the ogre has just dropped some new stuff. We've got a sleepy octopod and a creeper egg. Wow, we've got a new pet. That's awesome. Ho ho! So it looks like you can get new stuff during the event as well. Just got another defender crystal, a uh, defender medal, sorry. So that is awesome too. Now, I'm noticing early on in this, guys, you don't want to run too far away from your crystal and leave it undefended. And it also looks like the, the waves progress pretty quickly. Did I get anything new from the ogre then? Arr, I've got slow on me. Whoa, it's booger attack makes you really slow. Okay, so this is a melee damage weapon. Ho oh, ho, that is so cool. And it looked like I died and some giant dragon has spawned. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, I got totally slammed in the end by some huge dragon thing. Got another item called a Huntress's Buckler. Increases max number of sentries, sentry damage by 10%. So it looks like the more you do the invasion, guys, the stronger you get. You get more defender medals as you're fighting it. I got some more, which means you get different sentry summons. So, again, you might want to try this on normal first. That was really difficult on expert. Um, but, hey. So, guys, if you've got any tips for it, leave them in the comments below. This was just a little look at it. I'll look at it completing it later today after I've had a look at some other stuff, too. Smash that like button if you'd like to see more of the Terraria 1.3.4 updates. Check the playlist in the description if you want to see more of the update content. And here's the most important part, as always, you will stay happy, and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Day, signing out. See ya!